Welcome to Midlife Mood Taste Test, February yeah. edition. Yeah. Holy cow. Can't believe it's February already. No, it's You know insane. what that means? Time for my Valentine shirt. Oh my God. Mabel's my Valentine. I'm hoping we're showing the Valentine shirt and nothing else in that photo there. Well, there she pulled your shirt up like that. But a lot. Uh, weird. Yeah, dude, my dog is my Valentine. Uh, um, remember, okay, we'll get to the sweatshirts and clothing here in a second. First, let's talk about today's taste test contestant, which is Milk Bar Crunchy. So Milk Bar is a famous bakery in New York City, but they also do things that you can buy in the grocery store. They also, I have been to their location in Vegas in the Cosmopolitan. Um, I am curious to see how- a bakery? How, yeah. Where in New York? I don't know, it says New York's iconic bakery. Never heard of it before. Oh my God, Milk Bar. I get the advertisements all the time. Never heard of it before. Okay, first up, I ordered a six, so we have a lot to try today. Woo! First two were holiday edition flavors. I bought them clearly back in December and okay, they've right, been in the right. list to try. This is a suggestion from our favorite follower who you love. Oh my God, this is where this is coming from? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Okay, this is chocolate snowball cookie. Um, it is, all the cookies are little snack bite size and okay. six cookies per serving. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Um, I love the powder um, on there. Mind you, the powder donut they used to have as a kid mm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I like the cookie crisp in the side of there too. That's good, that's good chocolate. I it's like good that. chocolate, mm -hmm. crunchy. Yeah, I like that you a lot. You can hear the, obviously mm. why it's called crunchies. I like the flavoring, powder, the powdered sugar makes it, yeah. I think. Well, and Excellent. I yeah, the powdered sugar made that one. And I like that these are small little things. I'm trying to think of what else. There's, there's a little cookie brand that are like small. Uh, Chips Ahoy or whatever, they kind of make it like that. So that's kind of nice. I like this. Yeah, it's small. And six, I feel like six of these is a good size serving. Oh, that's what you're, we're going with? Yeah, six is one serving, 140 to 160 calories, depending on which kind you get. Okay. In comparison, you can get four Oreo Thins for 140 calories. Oh, wow. So equivalent um, yeah, calorie-wise. Yeah. Well, you know, mentally, visually, you eat six. Like, oh, that's a lot. Right, more right. It feels stuff. like it. And by the way, Mabel cannot eat these again for those that don't know. This is Mabel. We're not going to trust it because we don't know really what's, you know, chocolate and stuff that's in there we want to mess around with. So she gets her favorite little treat over here now. Oh, but she has to be part of the taste test. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have candy cane chocolate chip, which it smells wow. really good. Wow. Smells like candy cane. I don't think you're eating a candy cane. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Interesting. I wouldn't go here. I wouldn't do it. Totally tastes like the candy came up with a cookie. Now I feel like... I actually don't mind it. Yeah, I, I feel like when you accidentally chew some gum after eating a cookie and it's all stuck in the gum and everything <laughs> and stuff like that. That's a great explanation. Yeah. It's like, it's like oh, I had a candy cane. I have a cookie now. Oh. Like when your gum's been stuck at the bottom of your purse for a long time and you taste it and it has a weird flavor. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Wait, what? <laughs> you wouldn't know. You're literally... A I mean, chewed piece of gum. No, in the no, no, of your no, no, purse no. It's wrapped. Chew it again? No, it's wrapped in the bottom of your purse, but it uh, Anyway. I'm a little sus now. Um, on what you're okay, about. yeah. That's I like the candy cane, but I don't like it in the cookie. No. I don't like it in the cookie. I like candy canes. I like cookies. I don't like them together. Yeah, so far I would say this one's oh, in yeah. the lead yeah, yeah. for sure. Next up, vanilla butter crunch cookie. Ooh. While you're trying this. while you're trying that one, I'm gonna explain. So I am in a purple sweatshirt today because we were gone all day cheering on our son at wrestling. And Eric and I have been laughing because this is our seventh year supporting this high school between both kids. And neither one of us own one article of clothing that supports the high school, even though you have on the college that we support. But yeah, it's purple is their color. So I have on purple today, but we do not own any high school gear. So I'm curious to know parents, do you own high school gear for the high school that your children go to? Or we, went to. Right? Or went to. We've never never invested in that. No, it's sad. It's really sad. <laughs> it's sad. How was this, by the way? That's really good. That is really good. I like the butter cookie a lot. Uh, I was a big, big fan of that. I was totally expect that. I honestly, because it's a butter cookie, I'd even throw that in the microwave for a couple seconds because, oh, that could really taste like a fresh cookie coming out of the oven. That's solid. That would be really good with vanilla ice cream. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I a like that one. with some milk and a shake or something like that. Ooh, I'm going to move this to number one. Yeah, that's pretty solid. I like that. Big fan of that one. Excellent. Um, curious about this one. Really pretzel Pretzely chocolate chip. pretzel chocolate chip. So yeah. give this one a try. Yeah. Yeah, I believe, so when I made fun of Eric when we were walking into wrestling today, I'm like, how come you have your Arizona State shirt on? We're purple. Like, you're supposed to wear purple to support the high school. He goes, oh, I'm supporting where my money goes. <laughs> Yep. Fair. That's, yep. that's fair. Okay, I'll give that to you. Oh. We, I think, have a new number one. Oh, why? Why do you like that one better? It's just got a lot of flavor to it. I kind of like that little pretzel at the very end taste you kind of get. Of course, you get your normal chocolate chip out of it. And all of a sudden, there's a little pretzel kick at the end there, too. I love pretzels. Mm, I just got the pretzel. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The pretzel, a little kick at the end there, I like. You don't get that pretzel flavor right away. It's about halfway through. Yep. And then it kind of takes over that. It's that salty mixed with the sweet. Yep. And the crunchy. Ooh. Ooh. I'm moving I don't it know. To, You're moving it to first? I'm moving it to first. Put them in a tie. Put them in okay, a tie. Okay, we'll put them in a tie right now and decide as we move on. But so far, those yeah. are in the lead. Yeah. I think... You're really gonna like this one. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know me, a big, big fan of cinnamon, cinnamon toast, crunch toast crunch and all that stuff and everything. I growing up, I used to eat cinnamon toast all the time. When people that are old enough to understand this, you used to have a little thing next to where your toaster was that actually had cinnamon and sugar mixed together in it. You did it yourself; it wasn't pre-made. Mm -hmm. And so you just take your spoon, and spread it all over, get about that much cinnamon and sugar on your toast. So, Ooh, okay. My favorite is cinnamon toast crunch. And then drinking the milk afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it's just the sugar milk. That mm -hmm. was the best. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm, I think this is going to be my favorite. I don't know. Mm. Um, mm. Solid. Very solid. So just in case you're wondering what the macros are on here. So we talked about 140 to 160 calories. This one's 140. Six grams of fat. 21 carbs. One gram of protein. Obviously, almost everything is coming from carbs in here because da 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 sugar. So to let you know, going along with your story there of your cinnamon toast crunch while you were out of town this week, I actually ate that for a dinner one night. Had your cinnamon toast crunch and threw some Cheerios in there too and everything. And by the way, here's the best part: people have watched this long enough understand. Can't stand almond milk. Can't stand soy milk. Can't stand anything unless it comes out of a cow milk. And, and when you eat cinnamon toast crunch with almond milk, you don't taste the almond milk at all. Because <laughs> all the sugar just floods it over and takes it over and stuff like that. So guess what? I'm drinking her milk too while I'm doing it. Wow, uh -huh. that is shocking. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. you know why? Because I can't taste it. Where are you putting these? Um, I'll put it in a second. I, I liked it. I, I do like it. I, I, I liked it. it. It wasn't my favorite though. No, no. I, I would put I it behind tried. those first two. I'd put it like in a tie with, with uh, this bad boy right there. I would fine. put I'd it ahead of this, but I liked it. It's good, but it wasn't like, mmm, good. No. no. <laughs> it wasn't bad, but it wasn't the best. Yeah, right. Okay, just... This is going to do it. This, that's what I think. So brown butter. I didn't really know what brown butter was until I made a brown butter so you cake. Met me. Oh, my God. Thank you. You're my brown sugar, not my brown butter. Oh, right. Um, but brown butter, I think I made it in brownies or something. I was like, oh. I had no idea how good it is. So I'm really excited to try these in this cookie. I just want you to know where I'm ranking this. Because I'm having another one. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The chocolate chip and the butter. Forget about it. Out of this world. Again, I throw that in the microwave for a couple seconds. Warm. Oh, mama. Wow. Big fan. Big fan of it. I don't think it's my favorite. Wow. Well, you know what? It's good. I don't think it's my favorite. Some of us have good taste buds, some of us don't. I mean, that's all there is to <laughs> that's it. That's why we do this. Because I will tell you, I get so many, I just got comments today like, tell me what your favorite protein powder is. And I will give suggestions based on my taste. And I'm always afraid like, yeah. I hope you like it too, because not everybody has the same taste buds, no, and that's why I like us both doing it. Hundred percent, because we can give two different views. Right? No, you could always have a. You, you know, we don't have the same favorite. This is my favorite. 
No, she's my favorite. Whoa, whoa. My favorite. Yeah, she's my favorite. Can we stop flashing the people? <laughs> I'm not out flashing the people. I have a shirt on underneath. Uh, it's, a, it's a flashing move, is what that is. I mean, I, I'm, am I supposed to throw beads at you now? I mean, okay, we on? already figured out today we are the most immature 47 and 54 year olds there are because in wrestling, uh, we're really mature with some of the things that yell in the program. The, the crowd <laughs> and the coaches yell. <laughs> Just, we just, just look at each other and laugh. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, there's certain things they say that you go, really, really. That's the chant mm -hmm. cheer you're yeah. going for. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we're already inappropriate enough. Yep. Um. Okay. Final rankings. What do you think? Yeah, I told you I, I got these guys. You got guys. brown butter up front. I, I have them just just right above them a little bit. Uh, these two there. This is oh, that one was. Yeah, I don't even know if you can order these two anymore because they were holiday favorites. Or holiday I wouldn't worry about it, but edition. if you like the powdered donuts and stuff like that because of the powdered on here, that, that made good. that. And so if you like that, go with that. Um, and I'll be honest, Otherwise, these four up here, the, you, you really can't, can't go, go wrong. wrong. No. You can't go wrong in those four. Um, what is on the back? Is it showing it's ice cream too? Yeah, so they have ice cream too. They make cakes as well. So I've had the ice cream. Um, mm -hmm. When I stayed at the Cosmopolitan in Vegas once, that was oh, actually mm, my dinner. That was my dinner that mm -hmm. I had expensed uh, when I was there for work. I'm like, oh, there's a milk bar. I better go try that. And sadly, because it's Vegas, I think it was like ice cream and it came with a cookie and it was like $40. Mm -hmm. It was something stupid. Um, just, anyway. just so people kind of put in perspective here too is she gets to stay at the Cosmopolitan <laughs> in Las Vegas when she travels for work. <laughs> I get to stay at the Hampton Inn in <laughs> Podunk, who knows where, America, when I go out to work. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Pretty much. Yeah. That's, that's the difference. Uh, I believe I will be going to Denver this week and spending the night, two nights, in my favorite hotel in Denver. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait. And it's not the Hampton Inn. Not a Fairfield <laughs> or a Hampton. not Fairfield or Hampton <laughs> or Comfort Inn. It doesn't have inn in it. Um, okay, well, if you like cookies and you like having them in your cupboard, definitely give these a try. They were good. Um, stay tuned for next week. We already have that ordered. This was your idea for next week, so you oh, should yeah. like yeah. it. Yeah, very excited about it. Do you want to flash the audience one more time to show that it's Valentine's? <laughs> no, but I will wear my other Valentine's shirt next week, oh. so stay tuned. All right. All right, have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Goodbye. Bye.